Okay, it's May 21st. Let's see what's going on with our chicklets. Now they're probably like two days old now. There's mom and pop. They still don't trust me yet from the hot tub. Um, so I know the nest is going pretty good. Little fuzzballs are safe up there. We'll see what happens. All right, look at this bad boy or bad girl. Any guesses on if this is a copperhead or if it's a non-venomous? Oofta, yeah. Look out for that one. There goes Iron Mike. He's gonna do some weed whacking. We got a little bit of a work day going on today, even though we start like at noon. He's gonna do some weed whacking and I'm gonna get that four row planter ready to roll. All right, to get this planter ready, I basically hit everything with uh, white lithium grease, WD-40. All the chains, all the moving parts, since it's set outside in the rain now for a couple days. Grease, uh, put a little coating on the uh, coulters. That's right, I got to hit the cutting disc. See, I just reminded myself. But shoot everything with grease to get this thing back to life here. And hopefully, uh, maybe tomorrow I'm going to plant. All right, it's on. Okay, take a good look at the shop for the before picture right now. See all the junk laying everywhere? Well, you're going to see it really clean here shortly because that was one of Mike's jobs today that he hooked me up with. So stay tuned here at the end of this video. We'll see it. All right, so here I'm starting to organize a little bit. I'm taking this two row planter out of the workshop because I got the welding finished on it. It's probably going to find its way down to Kentucky here before too long once that deal is final, but I'm just putting it in another spot now so we can uh, get the shop cleaned up.
All right, as you could see, I haven't quite perfected all the implements. Uh, that one there sits just a tiny bit lower, the two row. So I gotta lower these three point arms. That's why I ordered a second uh, three point arm crank, which Victor does have now. I just haven't put it on yet. So I need to lower them just a tiny bit and uh, then I'll be able to hook onto that one. But the problem is like with those discs, they have springs on them and so the implement sits a lot lower than it actually rides. Uh, it's a work in progress, but the second one, now that's how it's supposed to go. Back up, hitch on and go. All right, so you get your plates in there. You want to hear that click from that spring mechanism. Now these steel ones, they don't need that adapter because these hook and turn right by themselves. So then once you get them in, all right, then you do the turn test, turn the wheel like this, okay? You want to make sure you're turning. Now to me, these wheels are turning way too hard. Uh, I may have to loosen up the chains or see if they just stretch a little on their own, but that'll be a field test issue. All right, so uh, the big four row is theoretically ready to plant. Notice I say theoretically, because uh, it may be way out of adjustment, and right now I'm sweating my nuts off already. Tomorrow's gonna be 90, today is upper 80s, but um, I promised Iron Mike I'd try to solder something really small for him, so I'm gonna run in the house, cool off, and try to do some soldering for his uh, one of his microphones. Plus the ground has to dry up just a little more yet. It just finished raining yesterday, so I figured I'd let it dry at least two days. So tomorrow I might, might be planting. So uh, yeah, that's about it for the update for today. Mike's got the pond looking all pretty, weed whacking and got some fishing spots open that we gotta take advantage of. And I'm pretty much stuck on Kentucky. Just hurry up and wait. I can't move equipment. I can't plant. I can't bush hog. I can't do anything until we get everyone together to get it closed. There's Iron Mike down the lane. I hate uh, delegating my work to others, but unfortunately, I think we're at that time in life where we have to start doing that. Because, um, yeah, it's just how it is. So the pond is going to have some fishing spots. So we got to start using them. All right, so this is what I promised to help out Mikey with. My eyes are a tiny bit better than his. But I gotta repair this cord, which is his wireless headset for his ham radio, so it's very important to him. And I understand why, because I chatted just a little bit this morning on my handheld mic, and it's kind of a pain. This one's all automatic. He just wears a headphone and just talks when he wants to talk and otherwise listens. So we'll see if my, uh, not welding, my soldering skills are up to par. I gotta take a video of this. Wow, check out the shop, what Iron Mike did today. Man, hello, hello, hello. You could actually walk in here now. Dang, gone it, it's beautiful. Could actually walk in it. I didn't do much on that workbench over there. Yeah, I see. We need to organize. Uh, I think I need a cart for that uh, chop saw, honestly. Yep. Nice. Clean the filters on the air conditioner, too. Man, they Oh, on this wall unit? Yeah. Oh, good thinking, man. Good thinking. Yeah, I hadn't even given it much thought. Okay, here we are, uh, the 23rd of May, and uh, they're growing bigger. I know when they get certain size, if I ruffle the thing, they'll all start chirping and open their mouths. But they're definitely growing fast, our little, our little chitlins. <laughs> 